Hey everybody, Jeremy here. Uh, tile, 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 tile made a video. <laughs> it's coming up. I'm not editing this. So we made a video on how to make a unfollow bot on social media. Like this one is using Instagram, but it's applicable to anything really. Uh, if you use creativity and go back and forth, I'm just adding a bumper on here to tell you if you like these tips on how to save time and make money using these, because you can build these for other people. You can build these for other people using task magic, sell them to whoever, and build them for yourself and save a bunch of time. Let us know, but please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you like those time-saving tips. Um, time-saving and money-making tips. I like that. I'm going to stick with that going forward. So hit the subscribe button, take a look at this, and uh, give us the thumbs up. Let us know if this is applicable to you. All right, let's build an unfollow bot on Instagram. So I am going to set up a new automation, and what this is going to do is I'm going to have a list of usernames, something like this, um, which you can, you can get if you, like, scrape your profile followers or whatever you want to do, um, scrape someone's followers, whatever the plan is. Um, I have a list of usernames, and I am going to loop through each of these usernames uh, and unfollow them. So I'll go to... Sean's profile here. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to click this drop down and then unfollow. So there's a couple different ways we can do this. We're probably going to use find by text um, just for consistency sake and to make sure that we don't um, follow someone that in the meantime we've already unfollowed, things like that. So again, this is all going off the assumption that you have some usernames ready. Uh, make sure you get these usernames ready or the profile URLs ready uh, to build this. So I'm going to start with a new automation um, with the guided recorder. And we are going to start on Instagram.com. So this has been gradually annoying me more as I'm making these videos and not re-recording automations. Um, but how do you guys want to, I didn't realize that opened. How do you guys want to be adding cookies um, to your automation to log in? So in this example, um, I'm going to Instagram here and it's obviously not logging me in and I want to log in with cookies. So to do so, I need to click I'm done and then we need to grab our cookies. Which we've gone over this in a couple other tutorials. Then come back here and add them here. So what's going to make that easier? I'll probably prompt Jeremy with this question too and maybe that starts the YouTube discussion. But I guess what's the question for how we get started easier there? Anyways, back to building our unfollow bot. So this is going to open um, back up to Instagram, but we should be logged in this time. And we are. So one thing we'll want to do, um, we don't need to handle this pop-up because immediately after coming to Instagram, um, we're going to go unfollow somebody. So we can actually edit this go to page step to use the username, but I'll show you guys that in a second. So not recording any steps right now because it's not required. Um, what we're going to do is as soon as we land on Instagram, we're going to land on someone's profile. So I'll go to this profile for, at first. Wonderful meme pages. And we are going to um, use find by text to click the following button. So let's record a click step right here. Confirm. And then we can also... Um, use find by text here so let's say following and we can actually if this fails let's go to the next loop we'll set that up afterwards and then the next step after we click the following button <clears throat> is going to be clicking unfollow so I'll do that here and again we can use find by text for this and then again, if this fails, it's probably already going to be going to the next step. So really simple automation. Um, it's going to be going to someone's page. We'll set this up in a second. And then it's going to click the following button and then click unfollow. Um, and then that should be it. I don't know if there's a confirmation. There is not. Okay. Maybe we add a little bit of a delay in case that takes a second to finish unfollowing. All right. Next, we are going to set up our Google Sheet. So let me go back to that here. We're going to copy this URL 
and then go back to task magic and set up our trigger. I'm gonna loop through data here. We do want Google Sheet data because we're using those usernames. So let's paste our spreadsheet here. And then I forgot which it is. I think it's this one. It is. And that is it. Next, we just need to figure out how many we want to unfollow at a time. I'm probably going to do 10 people at a time. So every time this runs, we'll unfollow 10 people. And then I'll have this run like every day. We can do something like that. I don't know, 1 a.m., get the unfollows in. So now we have our uh, Google Sheet data coming in, which means when the automation runs, it's going to have access to all of this data here. Every loop is using another value. So when we see our, our, um, like our username value is a variable now, this is when it's going through the loop, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go in order of the rows we have in Google Sheets, I guess. I'm not sure how else to explain that, to be honest. So it's a looping. If we say 10 rows, it's going to be looping through these 10 rows. So on row one, when it's running, usernames is equal to own a franchise today. On the second loop, when this runs, usernames is now going to be equal to, I'm not pronouncing this. And that's how this loop process is going to go through iterating through that data. So... There's two different ways we can handle this search. I know a lot of people building this um, originally when they start building their automation, um, and there's no problem with this. This is just kind of me wanting to be particular with building this. Uh, they're gonna click this search button here, and then they're gonna type the username, so like Joel here, and then they're gonna search that or click the first result, whatever it's gonna be, nice. Um, and what we can do instead of that is when we click on a profile, we'll see that the URL changed and it's exactly that username. This isn't the case on every site, but it makes building your automation a lot easier if we can navigate directly to something. So if you guys either have a list of the entire URLs here or if you just have the username, um, what we can do is, is we can edit this go to page step to just add the username to the end of the URL. So we need to add a slash and then we can click at usernames. And what this is going to do is every time it loops through a new page or a new username, it's going to go directly to that user's profile. If you have the entire URL, like let's say that you have something like this, then what you want to do is add a slash here because that's wrong, is you're going to want to make this entire step just at usernames because it's replacing it with the entire URL that we want to go to. So this is the unfollow bot. What this will do is, again, it's going to take in 10 rows of data at a time. Um, it's going to go to that person's profile, click the following button, then click unfollow, and then wait just a second. So let me know if you guys have any problems building things. Let me know if you guys um, run into any hiccups. Let me know what else you guys are trying to build on the social media side. Um, a lot of these can be broken down to be just a couple steps so that we can handle really specific things like following someone, messaging someone, unfollowing, things like that.